Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, Lee here, uh, VK2K Doubler. Just sitting at the uh, uh, one corner of the uh, of the North Tower uh, here, and um, uh, I'm just uh, doing a little bit of work, replacing a connector. And uh, I thought you might like to uh, check it out. It's not your average uh, everyday connector. Um, uh, the connector is for uh, LDF 750 uh, cable, and uh, that's a bit of a sample of the cable there. Um, I've uh, I've got a problem with uh, with an end connector on a LDF 750 uh, up my uh, up the small tower, uh, which I'm going to have to replace because it seems to have a bit of corrosion in the uh, in the end connector there. I may even be able to, to clean it up. Um, possibly, but I'll have to pull it apart uh, completely. But um, I had a spare, um, a spare one on the, um, still on the end of a uh, cable, um, as a, you know, as a backup, um, saved it from uh, from being scrapped, and um, yeah, so I've I've had to try and pull the connector off the end of this cable here so I can use it, um, and. Uh, Here's a, just a comparison of cables. This is your uh, average uh, RG213, and this is your uh, um, LDF 750. Uh, quite a difference in size and makeup, and quite a difference in loss characteristics as well. Um, so I used to use this cable uh, for the 23 centimeter band, um, or uh, uh, 1.2 gigahertz amateur radio band um, but uh, uh, disappointingly there wasn't uh, the people in the right spots uh, in Western Australia over here where I would have been able to break this the Australian distance record for the longest distance on 23 centimeters ever uh, recorded but um, uh, unfortunately there's nobody active in Western Australia or VK6 uh, on 23 centimeters uh, that um, wanted to try and uh, break the record with me there so I ended up uh, completely removing the setup and, and selling uh, selling the uh, the antenna which was a um, 3.8 meter dish uh, uh, with about 30 dBi gain on 1296 and uh, the um, total EIRP was about 400 kilowatts um, so uh, we, we were pretty serious uh, on it, but um, nobody else was. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, so I've recycled that uh, uh, LDF 750 for, uh, for another use. Uh, it's actually connected to an um, ADS-B receiver um, uh, at the moment, or an ADS-B antenna. Uh, and on the other end of it is obviously the receiver. And uh, it seems to have got a bit of water in the connector, and uh, so I'm going to have to uh, do something about that. So anyway, I was just checking out this connector, and I thought you guys might be interested to um, to see it because uh, it's not something uh, that you would see every every day, or uh, if even at all. But um, uh, yeah, so this is a um, Andrew L47N uh, N connector for um, LDF 750. Um, this is the outside of it, and this is the center conductor, or the center pin. Um, it's completely made of um, brass, and it's a real work of art, really. Um, so uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, so anyway, it was a bit of a tough time getting it off the cable. Um, I had to, uh, you know, completely remove the sheath off that there. And then I had to actually put a screw through the through the cable to hold to stop the center conductor from turning when I was trying to get the center conductor to come out um, because uh, the center the center pin actually has a um, uh, like a screw thread on it uh, with like a helix on there to go inside the heliax, uh, which <laughs> uh, screws into the center like that. Uh, goes all the way down, and then uh, the uh, 
the actual outer part of the connector you know that goes in there and the and the pin sits uh, up obviously in the right spot for a uh, for an end connector i'll just uh I just dropped uh, a little rod there, just a sec. Um, so this little rod here uh, comes with these connectors and uh, allows you to uh, screw it in and out of the uh, uh, the center uh, the center core of the cable. So um, you just get the rod and uh, and twist it around and uh, and the whole thing comes out and that's how it's. Um, set up initially so um yeah <clears throat> uh so there's also like a rubber sealing ring that goes onto the heliax like so and uh the main body of the connector is in two pieces uh like this um there's a bit of a, a view of the inside Uh, that's that one and uh, that's the bottom part of the connector you can see it's got those little fingers on it um, and, a, and a thread there and it's got a, a, a rubber sealing ring down the bottom part of it well um, when this goes onto the cable which I don't think I can get this back over this particular cable but um, that goes over there and these those fingers actually seat uh, in the in the top groove of the heliax and uh, stop it from moving anywhere uh, also the rubber ring seals on the bottom there's a bottom groove in the uh, in the connector there and that ring that's on the cable uh, seals it so that goes on there I don't know if I can get it on uh, no nah. um, Anyway, that comes down there like that, and that sits virtually right like that on the on the connector, on the cable, sorry. And then the top part, top part comes down and and in, uh, and then the whole thing gets gets screwed up uh, on itself on the cable. So uh, when this comes on, on when this is. Uh, put onto the uh, the bottom part it compresses these little uh, fingers and it pushes it into the groove on the on the cable even even tighter so um, so it goes on like that and then it screws screws together and the top part of the body comes down and, and lines up with the bottom part and uh, that rubber ring seals the top part of the connector as well um, so yeah, so that goes on there, and then you'd obviously have this inside the uh, the core of the um, the cable. Uh, if I can get it back in, goes in there like that, and yeah, this would be sitting over there like that, and uh, and that's about it. It's pretty easy to put on really but but you do have to get your um the sheath cut on the cable uh, in the right spot with the right amount of uh, distance up to this uh the top ridge of the top uh part here it has to be uh, uh, obviously a certain uh, distance or specification there for everything to line up properly so but once you've got that right and you can get a special tool that'll actually cut the sheath and cut the um, uh, the cable in the right spots uh, and then it's just a matter of putting the ring on putting the body of the connector on and uh, tightening it all up to to the specific uh, torque for the connector and, and that's it so and then uh, you know just seal it up and away you go so so um, yeah so uh, anyway I just thought uh, probably not many people have seen one of these uh, or handle run and uh, that you might like to uh, check it out <clears throat> um, I don't know what they weigh but um, uh, it probably weighs a kilo or something at least 
So, uh, yeah. Anyway, rightio, well, uh, just thought I'd show you that while I had it on the ground there, and uh, I'll uh, go and attempt to uh, do the installation. Yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed it.